This was during the week, Matt Hall, the Red Bull ace of the year, and he took out the former pink-haired man, Matty Poole, for the ride of his life, Nicole. Well, how did he fare? Did he go all right? Well, he didn't throw his guts up, Nick, so he did okay. Oh, yeah. no, no, he can say that, because how are you? have done this as well, haven't you? I did this in uh, Hungary, and the fella before me collapsed on the tarmac to, uh, to my warm-up. It's a great thing to do, and you can see there over the uh, Newcastle pool is Matty Poole, wonderful scenes, and uh, he said it was one of the great experiences of his life. Did you hold down your lunch? I did, thank you, Nicole, and holding down everything on the beach is Hayden Quinn. Elimination round down here today, guys, and the guys standing behind me, they've actually been cut from the round today. We've got Corey Hills out, James Stewart's gone as well, Reese Drury, one of the bigger names, also gone, and young Mitchie Miller with a broken rib. He's uh, in a world of pain, so he hasn't been able to make it through either. Thank you, Hayden. So we're down to 12 men. One of those men is from Kiama. He's moved up north. He's going beautifully third in the series, Ali Day. I suppose growing up and watching the likes of Kai and Zane and Shannon and firstly thinking like, will I ever even make this series? And then when you do make the series, I think you do get pretty scared of those sort of guys. And then to be out in front of those guys, it's, it is pretty special. But I know they're going to come at, come at me just as hard in the next, you know, next few weeks. And I hold them in the highest regard. They, they are this sport, they made this sport. Yeah, I still can't believe that I'm in front of them, really. And there is that feeling in your head that, you know, today might be your day. And hopefully, you know, all the stars align and you might just have one of those days where, you know, everything goes right for you. Check out the Facebook page there. Ali Day, a very relaxed character, to say the least, Nicole. Yeah, he certainly is, but he's still in there as we get ready to start race three. What's the order for this one, Leachie? Well, we are a ski, swim and board for this one, so it's changed. So ski first for this uh, afternoon, being the first leg. And this will be interesting. They'll run down to their skis. There's no handlers. They'll grab their skis, their paddle. They'll drag them out into that little uh, gutter there, and they'll proceed to go through the break. So some of the competitors you'll see have pushed up to the side there. That's where the rip is. Corey Jones is one of those, and also Zane Holmes. So they've gone out to that right-hand corner as you look at the screen. And uh, that left-hand corner now, and they're going towards that rip. Well, it'll be interesting to see if Kane Eckstein starts to really find some form here as we move our way through what a short, sharp race is in traditional Ironman sense. But when you back them up race after race, it does sort of need some endurance. So Phil Clayton, number 20 there, stripey board, he's doing a nice job as well. Kendrick Louie is still there. Heading left is Phil Clayton. But going straight ahead is the Professor. Well, a few observations there. It's interesting to see that uh, Shannon Eckstein's gone straight out. I'm slightly... Uh, the concern for him based on that's where the waves are coming in but he knows what he's doing but then also oh, as you see competitors getting pushed back in that spot there but then you've got the likes of Bill Clayton and Zane Holmes have gone down the other end so uh, well I just think that they've made a call they just they believe that you're going too far left and that's Wes Berg on screen and he's got knocked off his ski he got back on again but I think that some of the competitors think that going left into that rip is an advantage but the problem is Howie when you get out the back you then got to cut back right to get around the boys and, you, and you're covering more distance. So it's a question between the two. Do you take the short course straight out? I say no to that. I say go left and try to get that rip going. Having said that, they're now going right. So the boys that went left are now changing their direction. Kendrick Louie has gone slightly right. So off the ski there, it looks as though they're number, number eight. And Hugh Doherty just trying to get over the top one. Yeah, Phil, Clayton. Phil Clayton struck too. That's a big yeah, wave now. That's a five, six footer that's come through and broken through. So they've copped all the white water there. Competitor on the top of the screen is out. Is so the rest of that is Kendrick, Kendrick. Louie. So Kendrick Louie had the bad luck in the first race on the ski. Lo and behold, Howie, it's been turned around. He's had some good luck in the lead up though. As, uh, there is Shannon next oh, time. The professor is he's off the ski. He's called the professor because he never makes mistakes. And obviously he's come unstuck there. I question that. I did say that just yeah. before. I didn't think he should go straight out. I really think that was a mistake. Uh, he might say otherwise, but I'm calling that uh, he should have gone left. Well, Tommy Atkinson at the back of the field there trying to make his way through. But also coming straight off the ski once again. Hugh Doherty. Hugh Doherty, gosh. Trev, Trev, it's all happening in the break. Shannon Eckstein made a jump out into the water, got a lead. He went straight out, which I found surprising, as you would have heard. 
but uh, at the minute, it uh, the, the, the field is spread, and we haven't even got halfway through the ski league. Oh yeah, and it's um it's quite challenging out here still. The wind's going really major, uh, really pushing in. Kendrick Louis passing me right now. He's actually catching a run. It must be a backwash off the point, back to the south into the wind. Flying looks really comfortable. I spoke to him just before the last race. I came in to get rid of my seat legs a little bit, and he's missing quite a big chunk of his front tooth. And he said he's actually in quite a bit of pain. Trainful side. How much of a lift is it for Kendrick Louie being told you're out and you're done and then all of a sudden you get a free second chance? Oh, it's certainly a massive lift because it's a, it's an energy thing, isn't it? Where there's hope, there's energy. And all of a sudden you're back in there. You've kind of let go of the part of you that feels like you failed for the day. You've accepted it. All right, I've lost. I've failed. I've been given a second chance, so there's really nothing to lose. The other big one I spoke to in the break was Zane Holmes. He went. He was having a little bit of a warm down near me, and he said, I feel really good. He said, I'm starting to feel better in the second race and flying under the radar. Where there's hope, there's energy. Beautifully said, Trevor Hamney. Plenty still to come on the Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Iron Man series. Newcastle Beach has served up an absolute corker of a day. And Kendrick Louie, without repeating it time and time again, he was eliminated, but Kai Hurst was disqualified. So Kendrick has survived. And he's leading the field. Zane Holmes, the big hulking form in light blue is making his way up the beach as well. All the big guns are in business. There is Zane. We've got 12 competitors. Four will get knocked out. We'll be left with eight for the final. Well, Matty Paul's in there. Kane Eckstein doing the best he's done in fourth place and looking strong. So Kane Eckstein's come through. Third race, Nicole. Endurance starts to come into it. They get a bit tired, but not Kane Eckstein. Yeah. He can go the same pace all day. Yeah, he looks comfortable, doesn't he? Phil Clayton putting in some big runs up there and there is Shannon Eckstein so he is right down the tail end and we will again lose some competitors at the end of this race so right now Shannon Eckstein who is recovering from the virus is in real trouble. Well it's only the first leg Howie and uh, they're off into the swim now Shannon Eckstein a, a very good swimmer when everyone's tired very solid doesn't make many mistakes but I think that he did make a mistake going out of the ski he got to the ski first he was first off the ramp got down there and decided to go straight out now he might have been watching the, uh, the the conditions prior to the race starting and seeing that he thought that there was actually not too bad there. So it'll be interesting to see what he says, but at the minute he's in trouble based on that decision. Looks like Kendrick Louie has landed himself on a big one and this will further extend will he hang his on to lead. This now? He, now he's, what he's done there, he held his breath for about 10 to 15 seconds because he knew if he took a breath, he was in the white water but not at the front of the wave. And he needed to keep his head down to keep the weight going forward to push himself through and then take a breath. What type of heart rate has he got after that swim then to have to yeah. keep his head down and not take a and breath? And he's already in oxygen. If I, if I punched you in the stomach right now, <laughs> you took a gasp. And I, I said, hold your breath for 10 seconds. That's what it's feeling. Do, do you want to see if you can do it? No, so, Harry, put your hands can't. off. <laughs> well, we need that, well the, the oxygen that he had to hold on to, his breath in that surfing uh, display, he can now catch his breath as he runs up with his massive lead. Kendrick Louie nicely I mean, done. It is saying that, that, and that is a good question, Howie, just like what level they are with their oxygen. Um, because they're so fit, and, and we don't talk about this, but these are the fittest athletes in the world, these guys. There's no one fitter than these guys, there's no doubt. Oh, you they think you're the big can they, no, 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 I'm saying no fitter. I'm saying there are other athletes like, you know, cross-country skiers and stuff just as fit, but these guys are aerobically unbelievable. They, while he's running on the soft sand here, his heart rate would be dropping down from when he had to hold his breath on the wave. So he would have hit about 190 beats a minute. But then during this run leg, he'd still drop down 20 beats to 170, 165, doing soft sand running. So a bit of active recovery. It is. You're still, you're still under pressure, Hayden. But, yeah. but you, could, you could see that he's still relaxed. Leachy, he does look very relaxed. Like you said, he's sucking his breaths in. He's looking good. The boy from the Northern Beaches, I spent a bit of time in the water with him, and he's really gone from strength to strength, and he is taking it to these bigger guys. Hayden, we need you to keep an eye on the beach. There was a battle earlier on between Wesberg and Shannon Eckstein, which looked like it was to make the final position. So shout out when you get an update on that. Well, Kane Eckstein Wes, Wes, Wes is just coming out of the water in front of Shannon Eckstein right now. So Wes is running up the beach as we speak. Shannon's about 25 metres behind him. Well, well 25 metres, he must have caught a wave guy. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't bode uh, well for Shannon Eckstein having Wesberg, someone he's got to catch, because Wesberg is such a strong board paddler. The board leg is the next one. It's the last leg coming in to the finish of this race. We take eight through for the final, and at the minute, Shannon Eckstein, the series winner for the last five years in a row, 
would be out if he stays in this position. We do believe there are only three men at this stage behind Shannon. We'll confirm that shortly, but if that's the case, he is in the wrong side of the red zone at the moment. As Tommy Atkinson, the big man from Queenscliff, he looks like he also is in the back side of the field. So there's four are going to drop out. Wesleyberg is in at the top eight at the moment to make the final, as are all these men here. Matty Poole in pink on the right-hand side, left-hand side now is Zane Holmes in light blue. Ali Day is there. And Phil Clayton, the old wily fox. But they're all chasing. At this stage, Hugh Doherty also looks like he's in that bottom four. Yeah, not, not uh, going through, I don't think, at this stage for Hugh Doherty. Year, he has had a tough year. Look, he had some bad luck, didn't he, well, coming Shannon into the series? Shannon Eckstein there, Nick, has got to get past well, Westberg. The thing that I was thinking about Shannon and seeing him go through that run, and I see it a lot with swimmers, when they start to really get into oxygen debt and start to fatigue, they go a bit of a bluish shade. And I know you're battling with elements oxygen and cold, and cold water debt. here too, and that changes your skin colour. But for me, it, it, I notice that they're in oxygen debt and they're starting to produce lactic acid and really fatiguing. Would you say no, is, is it not fair to say that at the moment for Shannon Eckstein, he needs to make that final to keep his series hopes going? I would think so. The only thing that says that may not be the case is the series is so good. That everybody's so good now that they're getting, you know, winning one race and then all of a sudden getting 15th in the next. So anybody can do this. So it might not kill his hopes, but it's certainly going to make it a lot harder. Well, Trev, just as you were speaking then, Kenrick Louie cracked a monster, a five-footer, back into the beach. So he is looking strong. He's done everything he needs to do in this race to get into the final and make that last eight. And you know what? A bit of bad luck at the start. He got given some good luck and he's taking, making every post a winner at the moment. So the big question is, can Shannon Eckstein catch Wes Berg? That is the talk at the moment because at the moment, Shannon Eckstein, who's won the last five series in, at, in a row, is in jeopardy, in trouble of missing out in the final. Half an hour ago, this young man, Kendrick Louie, he was on the beach in the arms of his girlfriend. He'd busted his tooth, he'd lost his board, and he was out for the day in the first race. Kai Hurst missed a boy, was disqualified, and Kendrick went from 17th to 16th position. He could well win the day. It's like out of a movie script. It's, it's amazing but to see him win this race. Like, he'll come in in a second. We're focusing on the back of the field here because that, that is Wes Berg coming through. And Shannon next time behind him. So this is the fight for the last position as Kendrick Louie comes up. A couple of high fives there to the crowd. He comes through. He's very relaxed. And the beauty with that is he's had a nice rest coming in, Howie, on that wave. And he'll be very fresh for the next race. All these boys look like they're going to go through. Kendrick Louie, he can't believe his luck. You'll keep an eye out. He's got part of his tooth missing on the right-hand side there. But Wesberg needs to get a wave. Can Shannon Eckstein do a Kelly Slater and just summon a wave from somewhere at the right time? If anyone can, it's him. But the problem is Wesberg, who's been a world body, uh, world board champion in the past. So he's sitting down because he feels like there's a wave coming. So he's going to let that white water hit him as Zane Holmes comes up in second place, it looks like. So Wesberg, if he can pull this wave, that could be the hopes in this event for Shannon Eckstein gone. In the end, uh, we've lost sight of the fact it was a convincing win too, and there is Wesberg convincing win. We look back to see if Shannon Eckstein is on that wave behind, and he's two waves behind at this stage. Zane Holmes, Matty Poole, they're all through. Corey Jones as well, Phil Clayton. Love watching him in action. Shannon really looks like he's staring down the barrel, and this could be the end of his defense for a sixth title. Well, certainly, as Trevor said, things can happen. It depends whether either Ali Day, Matt Poole, um, or Kendrick Louie wins the next round, the next race for this round. So if they do, they'll pull a bigger gap on, on Shannon Eckstein. So Shannon Eckstein takes ninth position today as long as he doesn't, uh, as long as Westberg doesn't collapse here and doesn't make the finish line. But at the minute, yeah, there's the gap there. So there's Shannon Eckstein running up the beach. Westberg in front of him coming into the area, into the finish position and uh, that is the hope to shadow next time finish for today. Wesberg crossing the line. Nicole Livingston is down on the beach. She's got a wonderful relationship with all these athletes. No doubt she'll be speaking to Shane Shannon Eckstein as he comes up to approach the line. He's a warrior. He's a man that will never give up. And uh, after going through all that, he'll now be faced with a microphone in his face, but he's professional, as you can see, Nicole. Yeah, it is a bit of a booby prize having to speak to me now, Shannon. Out of the race today, so a bit of a disappointment for you there. Yeah, I felt... Uh Felt pretty good today. I copped a, a couple on the ski uh, going out and, and dropped, dropped right back. And then uh, 
in a swim, I missed a couple of waves and just, be just behind the group and yeah, couldn't catch up. Let's talk about the ski because we were watching from the vantage of our very comfortable commentary position and you looked as though you went right when everybody else went left. They could call you the professor. At that time, was it a conscious decision to try and move away from the rest of the boys and go right? Not really. I think I, I was leading. Um, they just tried to punch through and I think probably the set of the day come through and, and had to roll a couple of times and, and just got pushed back. Yeah, that, that happens in the sport. The title defence, everyone talks about you being, you know, the most prolific winner if you can get this series done and dusted. It really starts to be a bit of a mathematical equation now, doesn't it? And riding on the other success or potential losses of the other competitors. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough now, but um, I've won five of the last six series and, and the last three, so going for four in a row. So it's, um, it's, a big, it's a big achievement if I can try and do that. And it's tough to back up each year, but in saying I'm not conceding anything yet, I'll, I'll come back next week in Perth and, and try and get some more points. We'll see you in Perth, let you go recover. Oh, thanks. Great questions by Nicole on the beach and great answers by Shannon Eckstein as we said he won't give up and he said that himself Kenrick Louie can't believe his luck Zane Holmes, Matt Poole, Corey Jones Phil Clayton, Kane Eckstein Ali Day, there is one more competitor through to the final, his name is Wes Berg. after the results, eight of the fittest men in the country go head to head in the waves of Newcastle Beach in the Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Ironman Series